and Dr. Sheba David. Two factors, drug release, along with protection of drugs and biologicals, are important to be considered in drug delivery. There are many lipids that form liquid crystals which are non-toxic and biodegradable. Not only that, lyotrophic liquid crystals have garnered significant attention in recent years because they are able to provide a matrix and play a role in oral and transdermal drug delivery systems. First, let's see what are liquid crystals. Crystalline solid phase converts to liquid crystal phase on heating. On further heating, it becomes liquid phase, while on cooling, it's reversed. Therefore, liquid crystals are liquids but with structural characteristics of solids. Next, let's talk about drug localization. Depending upon drug solubility properties, different drugs localize in different components. For example, hydrophilic drugs will localize in the water component, lipophilic drugs in the lipid component, whereas amphiphilic drugs will localize in the lipid water interface. Let's discuss about LLCs in oral formulations. This liquid crystal droplet sheds layers. It forms unilamellar or multilamellar vesicles. The vesicles combine with the missiles. The drug is incorporated into the missiles, which are called as mixed missiles. In the gastrointestinal tract, there is unstirred water layer, which prevents missile formation and acts as a barrier for lipid absorption. However, liquid crystals facilitated drug-incorporated mixed missiles. Therefore, they are free to enter the unstirred water layer. The mixed missiles cross the water layer easily. The drug released into the water layer gets absorbed easily. The drug which is inside the liquid crystal is protected against degradation in the GI tract. Next, let's talk about LLCs in topical formulations. This is the skin structure. The liquid crystal can be a topical formulation where the drug is localized in the upper layers of the skin or a transdermal formulation where the drug goes deeper. One mechanism of how the drug diffuses out of the cubosomal liquid crystal is shown here. Lastly, challenges faced in liquid crystals are stability in storage, control of burst release and limited drug loading capacity.